Welcome to another video with Howard Piano Industries. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to access the action of a grand piano. Uh, this is a Steinway grand. Uh, I like Steinway uh, grands. Uh, the way they're designed uh, makes access to the action easy. Uh, first thing you do is remove the key slip and it's nice on a Steinway because there's no screws involved. Uh, oftentimes there's screws underneath holding the key slip in place on a Steinway. It lifts right up. It's just uh, sitting, uh, uh, there's a slot that uh, it, it uh, goes down into and you just lift it out of the slot. So the next thing uh, we have to do is remove the cheek blocks. And again, it's very easy on a Steinway. There's just one large wood screw that holds the cheek block in place and it's located directly underneath the cheek block. Now, sometimes there's more than one screw under here. You wanna make sure you get the one that's located under the cheek block so that you're taking out the right screw. So with just those two screws removed, the cheek blocks and the fall board are connected um, and will lift out together. Now, you have to be careful that the uh, cheek blocks don't fall off because they're only sitting on a pin. Now that you have the fall board off, the action will slide right out. Um, you want to grasp on the wooden keyframe and never up here because if you grasp up here and press the keys down, when you pull the action out, uh, you will, the hammer heads will run into the case, uh, the, the pen block and potentially break off, which is which is definitely something you want to avoid. So you never press the keys down on either end when pulling out a grand action. That's very important. Uh, sometimes you can press the shift pedal and wiggle that. That helps you get uh, the case, uh, the action out easier. But you just pull it straight out without, without pressing down any of the keys. And now you have access to the piano action. Now, when you go to put it back together, so this is a technique I've learned to uh, reinstall the cheek blocks in the fall board. Uh, you get the fall board uh, so that it's uh, upside down in your lap and you hold the cheek box in place with your fingers. So you can slide it right in. And put your wood screws back and that's all there is to it. Okay, now we're at a Baldwin. And uh, this comes apart a little differently. The main difference is the way the key slip is attached. On a Baldwin, it is very securely attached with uh, wood screws, uh, usually four or so wood screws that uh, run along the bottom of the key bed. And usually you have to get down to find where they are.
fats off. It has uh, one wood screw holding each cheek block, similar to the Steinway. And on this Baldwin, it's similar to the Steinway in that the cheek blocks and the fallboard come out together. Again, you want to make sure the cheek blocks don't fall off the end. Again, when you pull out the action, never uh, hold your hands uh, on top of the keys. Always pull it down here from the key frame. You can grab these uh, pin block pins on the key frame if you need to and pull it straight out. Working the shift pedal kind of helps free it up if it's sometimes very tight in there. And so that's all there is to it. Sometimes you can do the work you need to do with the action in your lap. Um, other times you're, you might have to lift it up and put it on a workbench. To reinstall, uh, you can use the technique of putting the fall board upside down in your lap and uh, attaching the cheek blocks and then turning it over in place. Okay, we're looking at a Schimmel, and uh, this uh, is coming apart uh, a little differently, and you'll have to take the case parts off in a different order. Uh, there's no screws for the key slip, um, but you can't lift it straight out and up like a Steinway because it's being held down by the cheek blocks. So first, we have to remove the cheek blocks, but before we do that, we have to remove the fallboard. And uh, on this fallboard, uh, the fallboard is not attached to the cheek blocks. It has a pin going into the arm of the piano, uh, but the screws are right in the front where you can easily see them and access them. So we take the screws out. And then the fallboard should lift out. So now, just like the Steinway and the Baldwin, there's just a big wood screw holding cheek blocks in.
So with the cheek blocks out, you can see that there's a little wedge, a wooden wedge built in there that is uh, holding the key slip in place. So with that wedge out of the way, now we can just lift the key slip off. Again, when you pull the action out, uh, you don't want your fingers touching the tops of the keys or the keys at all, really. Now, something to be careful of here is these cheek block screws uh, don't really come all the way out uh, unless you purposely take them out. And so they're protruding up above the level of the key bed. So you have to be very conscious of that because uh, you can damage your key frame on these screws when you pull out the key uh, action, unless you screw these down below the level of the key bed. So there we go. And when you reinstall, you have to put the key slip on first before you put the key blocks on. So just in reverse order. bit tricky. Our website is howardpianoindustries.com. Uh, you can see the link below. Uh, if you have any questions about this procedure, uh, you can uh, ask them in the comments and I will uh, respond uh, and answer them as best I can. Thank you.